A bus aide with the St. Lucie County School District is accused of sexually assaulting a young child. Jesse Carboneri tells us why it took police several months to figure out that he worked for the school district. The incident didn't happen at a school or during school hours. However, Port St. Lucie police, they tell me they just learned this week that the man responsible was actually a bus aide for St. Lucie Public Schools. This is 25 year old Antonio Devaris Fields from Port Pierce. He faces several criminal charges, including molestation of a child. He's accused of exposing himself to a six year old boy and touching him inappropriately at the victim's grandmother's home, which is where Fields was staying as a family friend. All of this taking place back in January, but not reported until July when the child came forward with information to his mother, who then reported it to police. Just this week, Port St. Lucie police discovering his employment within St. Lucie Public Schools as a bus aide. Between January and July, both the grandmother and the suspect had moved to different residences, so we did not have a current location on the suspect. So it took us a few months to finally locate the suspect. We went through social media. We try to locate other family members, other friends. In a statement, St. Lucie Public Schools wrote in part, quote, the employee was immediately removed from his duties and will be recommended for termination. Parents of any students who had contact with the employee were notified by the school district. Police say they don't believe there are other victims, but are encouraging parents to speak with their children. It's a good practice to always have a good communication with your child and on occasion ask once they reach a certain age, if they, if anybody's made them uncomfortable or anything like that, specifically if their behavior is changing. Reporting from Port St. Lucie, I'm Josie Carbonieri, WPBF 25 News. Again, the school district has taken fields off of his duties and Josie tells us the school board could determine to fire him next month. We'll keep you posted.